Lady Lily back with another video. I'm actually on my way to work. So I just wanted to do another video, just checking in with you guys. Letting you know where I'm at because I know you've been watching my videos, but some exciting things also took place um, in my personal life outside of YouTube. So I just wanted to give you um, an update of what's going on, where I'm at. Um, you all know back in January, I uh, went to the um, Burning Bowl at Christ Universal Temple and I left there that day just really that night really just optimistic and hopeful for all the things that God was going to do in my life and 2017 has been you know good thus far it's only the third month it's March so we only in the third uh, month but like a lot has really you know transpired so I'm just talking about it I feel like I'm at a point now when I'm mellowing out with my schedule a little bit, but things are still popping as always. So if I can sum up January, January is really, as I always say, is the getting ready, the preparation month. But good things, you know, took place. I um, continued to judge and that was, I'm was learn, still learning some new things, still growing, but I feel like I'm getting more respect as a judge now um some things that i hadn't learned in prior seasons and seasons prior i'm learning now so that's really great and then i actually you know ended my season on a good note and in fact i'm already booked for uh, a competition for the 2017-2018 um season which is going to be season four for me and I'm also um, hoping to go ahead and work on being promoted uh, when you it's certain levels to the judging and you know the more ranking you have the better you can um, the higher you are in your ranking that was qualify you to go to sectionals that's what qualify you to judge at state in which I hope to get there one day. So um, I just left there on a good note. I feel like I'm becoming more respective as a judge, so that's great as well. Um, also, in the name of love, I really feel like God is um, really trying to fine tune uh, my love life situations, in which I'm saying he's removing men, and I think I wrote that in my burning bowl letter i said um please remove men in my life that does not mean well for me i did write that if they do not mean well if in my life if they do not have good intentions please remove them from my life i don't want to continue to waste time i don't want to be on that drama and it's just like it's coming to fruition. It was um, this one guy who I went to high school with, but well, he was older than me. He would have been like a senior and I would have been a freshman. And I never paid attention to him. I knew of him because I you know, was in the class with his sister and brother. We was in the marching band together. But um, I really didn't ever pay attention to him. And he'd been saying how he always thought I was cute and he wanted to um, be with me and blah, blah, blah. I never paid no dude this, 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 you know, attention. So he asked me out and I was like, okay, fine. You know, he seemed, he could have been decent. You know, he plays, you know, he sings in the choir. He plays music and all this stuff. He, um, he got a job. He said he was getting two jobs. And I mean, you know, looking at the education, you know, he only got a high school diploma and some certificates, but I'm really one not to trip on. You got to have a degree or whatever, but I do say you do need to be an advocate for education. So anyway, he, um, just ended up talking to him and he just like, went left field on me he was telling me how he was the 40 year old version and blah 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 and i just really felt like i didn't get to know him and he wasn't get to know me i felt like it was like an indecent like it was a proposed to a proposal to um diversionize him or whatever so it just made me feel quite comfortable quite uncomfortable because you know some people say oh you should feel honored but that's all he talked about 
It was like, you never asked me what was my job, what, what I currently do. You never talked about how me serving people and all this type of, like, no, not serving people, but how I volunteer and how I'm very involved in my sorority and all that good stuff. He never, you know, he never like really asked me about that stuff, nor took interest. He was just so focusing on how long would you date a person? How soon would you get married? And I'm like, well, I take marriage kind of serious. I don't believe in hopping up and just getting married for the sake of getting married. And I don't care what your time clock is. That's not my time clock. You know, I learned that, you know, you don't work on, you work on God's time. And I felt like it was like a hurry up and rush because he said he was 40 years old. He's a virgin. He's the only one out his siblings who is not married, who don't have kids. And I'm like, well, you know, maybe it's just not your time, but after, you know, I'm really just thinking this dude is just cuckoo for Cocoa Pops because just the way he kept harping about it and harping about it, and it's like, I can't even get to know you because you're just so focused on that. So I end up not going out with him. I shut it down. I end up blocking him from all types of social media, blocked his number and everything because it's just like, I'm trying to tell you, dude, you know, this ain't cool. I'm not learning about you. You're not learning about me. All you keep talking about is sex, your aversion, kids, and marriage. I'm all for people who want to get married and have kids, but my problem was the whole force in this thing. So, God removed that out. So, there is a blast from my past who I was involved with a few years ago and kind of reconnected at my birthday party and kind of started hanging out with him a little bit and um you know he kicked up a little feelings there but here's the big this is the big thing so come to find out he got somebody who i know pregnant i'm not gonna give the full details because i know people who know this situation so i'm not gonna give the full details but let's just say it's a person i know quite well and he got her pregnant. What my problem was him was when I inquired about it, because I kind of knew they was tied together, which I had them first. Um, he would lie and say, no, that's not my situation. Blah, 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 blah. Um, yeah. So I kind of cut that off because, you know, when my gut, my feelings say stuff ain't right. I listened to it now. It ain't right. So, lo and behold, after that, I get a baby shower invite. And guess who name is on it? Yeah, the guy. So, I'm like, mm, I'm good. We really good. We really, really, really good. And then, come to find out, I did not go to the shower. But to come to find out, he got another kid already i knew about his oldest kid that's no strange because he always talked about this kid post on social media about the about the child so that's the known kid but now you got this other kid that's like a good three four years old and then you got a baby on the way no so that was just another way got that out the way so i just feel like god is just like doing what I wrote. Get these men out the way. Do not mean well. He just moving them out. And I've been doing a lot of reading, focusing, and just stuff on, you know, appreciate being single and being in your your singleness. And, why, and what do you do while you wait? And I really believe sometimes, you know, people say, you gotta go here, you gotta do this, you gotta do that. You gotta wear this, you gotta act this way. I really believe it's just God's divine time because you can meet people at the weirdest of places like a friend of mine co-worker her um, sister met her future husband while preparing for his grandmother's funeral because she's a mortician she works in a funeral home she met him making arrangements for his grandmother's funeral now she just doing her job working with the family making sure the arrangements are set and end up you know meeting her future husband so it's i just think sometimes it's divine order it's god's doing when he's ready so i mean i think i'm good right now i mean this other guy he trying to come back around 
but he's talking a little different. Like he just, he's like, I know you at this point now that, you know, I can't play with you. Okay, what are you doing? I'm trying to let you go. I'm on my way to work. Um, he's talking like, I know if I come back, I got to be right, blah, 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 blah. And yeah, so I think he got it because I'm, I'm not for it, you know. He didn't have several tries. He don't, he, if he ain't gonna get it together, he don't need to come back and we don't need to reopen that. But God is really, you know, I think he's really, you know, interceding on my behalf in the returns of love and relationships. So he's just keeping people obey, keeping people, you know, that don't mean well. So that is good. Some other great things that took place, y'all, it's been, I've been saying, it's been an award-winning season. And, I'm, and, I, and I say that to say this, I have been honor, honored to receive several awards, like weeks, weeks apart from each other. So, on February 11th, we had our, um, the Greek Council had our annual Sankofa Awards. And that's to honor the achievements that took place in our Greek Council. And we acknowledge like outstanding sorority, fraternity programs, leaders. So you guys, I won committee co-chair of the year for my work I did with my co-chair on the scholarship committee. So I had no idea about that. That came out of nowhere. I was truly humble, honored and humble to think that, you know, I think that award is, um, the, the award is um, presented by the president. He nominates, he dictates who wins that award. So I'm just so honored that I got it. It was myself, my co-chair for scholarship, as well as a young lady who was over the actual award ceremony. So I was truly honored to get that. That was left field. And then moments later, they called me back up and I won Soror of the Year for my um, outstanding work for the council. I had 100% meeting attendance. I had 90% um, attendance uh, for all the council events in 2016. And I only missed one event and I only missed that event because well, two. I missed two events, so it might be 85%. Might be 90, 85%. And the one event I missed is because I had to judge. The second event I missed is because um, it was Thanksgiving, and um, I was helping my mom. Um, she sent food, uh, sent food with me home to put in my oven. So I really didn't want to leave that to go and serve, you know, the, uh, you know, that Thanksgiving dinner or whatnot. So. That, that took place, so I was truly honored, and I was just so amazed about the response of people. Um, everybody was on my Facebook page and Instagram blowing me up, saying congratulations, we you deserve it, we're so proud of you, and it was just really great. It was, it was honored, because I felt like people really saw the fruits of my labor, so that was great as well. And then, Several weeks later, you know, I've been busy with Black History Month. I'm responsible for planning the events. I'm at work now, so I'm going to have to hurry this up. I'm responsible for planning the events at my job. So um, I was responsible for helping coordinate the whole month of activity. So we got, you know, that. And one of the bigger things we do is our African American Achievement Awards. And even there, you know, I didn't know, you know, I'm part of the process, but, you know, I have no control of who nominates. But apparently I was nominated to be the first recipient of the Michael Clark Service Award. And Michael Clark uh, was a formal, uh, former professor at the university I worked for. Um, he was really a person who advocated for students and rallied behind them. He retired in May 2016. And unfortunately, he passed away from lung cancer in August of 2016. So he didn't really get to fulfill his, um, he didn't really get to enjoy his um, retirement. And we had honored him the year before for a legacy world because he had been in San Jose for 20 plus years. So I was truly honored to get that. And it was so ironic because I um, got that award, I wore it. 
And, you know, I got that award and it was so ironic the next day Viola Davis wore red and she got the Oscar. So I said, me and Viola got something going on. We're both wearing red. So um, I'm in the month. We, like I said, we're in the month of March. Um, like I said, January and February was very hectic. Um, I went on my ski trip. I had a good time. Um, I celebrate my Founders Day. I've been teaching my class. So I've been really on the go. I've been trying to work out and just maintain, get back involved with my church because I feel like I slacked off in my involvement with church, but not necessarily going. So I'm just trying to find my way. But God has really been good. He's been just really showing me some things personally. And um, yeah, it's just, I'm just seeing things clearly. Uh, what's the next steps for the rest of the year? I just say if if the rest of the year goes like these last two months, it's going to be an awesome year, God, yeah, guys. It's going to be a great year. Um, my YouTube channel, people are, I'm getting more subscribers. Thank you for your support. Some people are liking the quad reviews. They're liking me telling like it is. They say, we want to get to know a little bit more about you. So I'm hoping me doing videos such as these will allow me, allow you to open up to me. So I'm grateful. I'm humble. Um, work is work. It's just work, um, but you never know what God got in store for you. Because I wrote in my letter about you know new 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 opportunities and new focus. So I just wanted to give you a review where I'm at. I'm good. I'm happy. I'm I'm hopeful. I'm optimistic. So stay tuned for more updates. Stay tuned for more videos. If you're not a subscriber, I hope you've been compelled by my story. Come on and subscribe. I got more things coming um, coming your way. And for those who subscribe, thank you for your well wishes. Thank you for your support. Every time you write a comment, I'm reading it. I'm, you know, I'm trying to respond back. If you tell me to go subscribe to you, I've been trying to go and subscribe to people and support them in their channel. So know that I'm also rallying with you. But that's it. That's all I got to get in here and start my work day. Have an awesome day and just, just stay positive and know that you can do whatever you want to do as long as you work hard and set your mind to it. Peace.